Hey you guys, so my name is Patience and recently I created a Twitter thread titled Exposing Colorist Celebrities. The thread went viral and it got some people upset, so my account got suspended. So I made a new one and someone gave me the idea to make a YouTube video instead of a, another thread, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to address one question that I did get, which was why speak on celebrities instead of everyday black people? Well, for one... The celebrities that I'm speaking on, which are majority black, grew up as everyday black people. And I think the fact that they are celebrities puts a spotlight on things that we as everyday black people have heard growing up and still hear even today. Also, I think it's very important that dark skinned people and also people in general that support these celebrities should know how these celebrities feel about dark skin and black features in general. Also, I think we undermine how much impact colorism can have on dark-skinned people from a very young age. Why, why do you want that skin color? Because it looks lighter than this kind. I just don't like the way brown looks because the way brown looks looks really nasty for some reason, but I don't know what reason. nappy-headed i'm sorry y'all but it seemed like always little nappy-headed girls would bully me like they'd be jealous or something like what, I, what? yes they was when i was little i didn't do nothing to know it seemed like always ugly people bully me i'm sorry so such things ugly people well it don't have nothing to do with look y'all before y'all start going in it don't have nothing to do with color but them are always the people that bully me it was always some little black little girls bullying me with some old little uh, terrible hairstyle Obviously, there is some anti-blackness and internalized racism going on in our community. When words like nappy and phrases like bad hair are common descriptive words used by us to devalue our own hair. And it reminds me of a time when people were harassing Gabby Douglas, a really, really talented gymnast, over her edges not being slicked down. Like, this girl was over here winning and doing twirls and flips so y'all worry about her edges not being laid down and the fact that grown people didn't stop harassing blue ivy until her hair got shorter length i think that's actually pretty disgusting kinky hair forcey hair i don't know if she has forcey hair but hair that's just not that good hair does not have to be long in order to be beautiful it is beautiful regardless of whatever length it is i think honestly Beautiful hair is just healthy hair, and that's just my opinion. And actually, no, it's actually facts. So y'all need to stop harassing women with type 4 hair, period. Would you rather have bad acne or bad hair? Bad hair. <laughs> bad hair. Damn, that's a hard that's one. Hard. That's a bad hair. Because I didn't even know what I would choose myself. I'm like, look, bro, we got, we got some light-skinned, pretty girls we got to raise. We in trouble, my nigga. What we going to do? Little girl or our son? Little girl. A little girl, and she's so cute. Yeah, Laura's always talking about how cute his daughter is. light-skinned, baby. light-skinned, baby. light-skinned, baby. Kiki Palmer, she's great. I'm a bad one, but you know what I'm saying? I don't really like, I don't really like, um black girls like that sometimes.
sort of kind of. My, my complexion, we too gutter. Light skinned women, they more sensitive, you know? There's some dark skinned women out here sensitive. Like, no, they too tough. They too tough. <laughs> light skinned women, we could break them down more easy, you know? You know what I'm saying? I don't like red bones. I love black African Americans, but I don't like black bitches like this. You know what I'm saying? I like yellow hoes. I'm black as shit. Yeah, black is beautiful though, man. So I know if 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 I fought with a black bear, we gonna have a black ass baby. So, I ain't with that. Sad, but it's the truth. I've heard it many, many times. Um, and we are treated differently. A lot of Latinos don't want my kind mixed into their family because they don't want to better the race. And better the race means more European features. Cheers to more light skinned kids. Cheers to more light skinned kids. Cheers to more light skinned kids. Really I'm about to finally have somebody in the family that's my color. Cause DJ and Kyrie, they like you. She's not gonna be your color. Well, you know I used to be light skinned too, so. She was not. You know, what? Did you see did you see my baby pictures when I was first born? The era. I thought it was Pattern. I didn't know they didn't like black girls. Bro, show your face, bitch. You sound ugly as fuck. You sound ugly. You sound like one of them black burn ass bitches, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. I'ma see you. I'ma slap the shit out you, nigga. You got me fucked up. She keeps opening her eyes. She's gonna have brown eyes for sure. I think what you're trying to ask is uh, why am I so insistent upon giving out to them that blackness, that black power, that black pushing them to identify with uh, 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 black culture. I think that's what you're asking. It's, it's, I have no choice over it in the first place. To, to me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world, black people. I mean, and I mean that in every, every sense. 